Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Run the trail of the Black Arrow. Hail, Silver! Fire! While the night wind stirred the trees... The dark forms of two men made their way toward a small cabin built many years ago by a hunter. The cabin had been abandoned for some time, but on this particular night it was a meeting place, and a dim light shone in one window. Now that's the place. I reckon the rest of the boys are there already. Looks that way, truck. Just what's the reason for this meeting? You don't know? I don't know a thing. I'm never told what goes on. All I ever get told is who to rob or who to shoot. Do what's told me and get paid according. Maybe you're invited to the meeting tonight to be made more of a member of the outfit. Not me. Why not, Butch? I'm satisfied with things as they stand. I do my work and collect my cash. I'd as soon not be a full member of the gang. I've known too many members that have been killed off because they knew too much. Here we are. Oh, secret way of knocking on the door, huh? Mm -hmm. Come on in. Go ahead, Butch. Hey, what's that man got his head covered with that sack for? He's the boss. He want us to know who he is. Sit down here. You left your horses back where you were told to, didn't you? Sure. Quiet down. We're going to start the meeting. Now then, for some time the Lone Ranger has been in our way. Now he's going to be gotten rid of. That's why this meeting was called. I've had word there's a girl who helps him by getting information. We've at last learned one thing about that girl. She's living in or near the town of Clifton. And that's how our last plans got out. She heard of him and told the Lone Ranger. That's right. He spoiled everything for us and landed some of our men in jail. So that's it. Hey, Butch, quiet. That's why I didn't get the chance to earn my shooting money. That's the reason. And that's why my pal Jurgens landed in jail and why he's there right now waiting to be hung. Look at here, mister. You're the head man and I want you to know one thing. Well? I've got a score to settle with this here Lone Ranger. And if a girl helped him, I gotta settle with her, too. A girl helped him, we're sure of that. I'm not one of your outfits in the true sense of the word. I just do special work for you from time to time. But I got a score to settle. My pal Jurgens is to hang. And I've got to get them that are responsible for it. Now, wait a minute. This meeting wasn't called to hear you talk. Let me finish. I'm most done. I'll be quick. Just let me know who the girl is. Let me know where to find the Lone Ranger and that redskin named Tonto, too. 
I'll drill all three of them. Won't charge a thing for doing it. I called this meeting to outline my plan to get the Lone Ranger. I expect he'll be here tonight. Yeah, yeah. I let the word go out that we were to meet at 10 o'clock. I figured the girl would hear of it and let the Lone Ranger know. He's to think we've got some special plans to go over. After you'd all heard of the meeting for 10 o'clock, you were told very secretly to be here early. I figured that we'll have time to get ready for the Lone Ranger's call. When he comes, I'll drill him. You listen to me. If he's shot or captured here, his horse and that Indian might escape. But we'll at least have the Lone Ranger. I want more. I don't know how much information he has about us. He may have considerable. We'd like to get away from him. He might have it in his pockets, or it's more likely he'll have it in his saddlebags. Maybe hidden in his camp. I want him to come here, think he's outwitted us, and ride away. Get away, Quiet. Boy. He won't get away for long, I'll promise you that. Hey, boss. What sort of information do you think he'd have? I don't know. For one thing, he might have something that would tell us who the girl is. He might have some letters that would tell us who else we've got to be on guard against. Maybe he doesn't have anything. But I'm going to find out. The hour of ten drew near. The Lone Ranger and Tonto guided their horses slowly through the woods toward the cabin. Uh, they're light and windy. Otto, I wonder how long it can last. How long what last? Well, this mysterious girl has been a great help. Sooner or later, she must be found out by the outlaws. Uh-huh. Then what? Uh, me not know. Not knowing her, how can we help her? We don't even know what she looks like. Girl not want us know. There were only some way that we could guard her. Whenever three or four days go by without word from her, I, I wonder if she's fallen into the hands of our enemies. She must have me. Look yonder. See through window. Men sitting around the table. Rain up, Hup. I'll go ahead on foot. You bring the horses up slowly. Uh-huh. The information we received is correct. Those crooks are meeting to discuss some new instructions they've had from their headquarters. Not right. I want that information. Someday, if we can learn the identity of the leaders of the Black Arrow, we'll put an end to it. Oh, uh, I don't hope so. Kimasabi, wait. What's the matter? Someone come this way. Me, get him now. Uh, oh, you, will you not get away from let me? me. Uh, let me speak. Uh, don't make so much noise. Uh, you come this way. Well, I got to speak to the Lone Ranger. I wasn't sure this was him. Who are you? Oh, let me get my breath. I'm almost mashed in from the way Tano jumped on me. Uh, here, you and the under underbrush. I've been waiting there. Listen to me. What I got to say is important. A girl sent a message. What's that? Be careful. They'll hear you. you got to get away from here. Turn back and travel fast. It's a trick to capture you. Who did you say sent you here? A woman. She just says, tell him the girl made a mistake. The crooks met early to set a trap for you. Didn't she give you a written message? No. She said you couldn't read it in the dark, and if you struck a light, the crooks would shoot you. Turn back. you got to do it. When did you get this message? Tonight, just a little while ago. I had to ride hard to get here before you did. So the outlaws have a trap? They have. I don't know what kind of trap it is, but they're scheming to get you. Tonto, too. Take charge of him, Tonto. Um, Tonto, do it. No, no way. Please, believe me. When we leave here, we're going to take you with us. Oh, I'll go with you. I'll be glad to. Only get away from here now. We'll get away as soon as I get what I came after. Better get a rope on him, Tonto. Uh, What's your name? I'm Jack Fulton. I live in Clifton. Did you see the girl who gave you the message? Uh, yes, but it wasn't Good. from... I'll have some questions to ask you later. Well, she said you would. Oh, she did? Uh, yes, I... Ow! Oh. Rope is tight. Uh, me loosen it. Not want to hurt you. Only make sure you stay with Tonto. I'll be back in a few minutes, Tonto. Have Silver ready for a quick getaway. Uh, oh, but, Mr. You thanks for the warning, Jack. I'll be on guard. We'll just talk along now and see if the Lone Ranger shows up. Remember what I said. We won't forget, boss. Now, uh, these papers I've got in this envelope are the most important ones we ever had. We had a hard time getting them here, but they're here. That's all that counts. When I've passed them around so you all can read them, you'll see what I mean by saying they're important. I'm sure anxious to have a look at them. Why don't he pass them? Shut up, Butch. He's only waiting for the Lone Ranger to show up then, so he don't intend to pass them around at all. As I said a minute ago, these papers, and there's quite a pack of them in this envelope, 
are mighty important. Fact is, we'd be just about done for if we were to lose them. Don't move. Hey, what the... Sit still. Keep your hands on the table. So long, Ray. You... He's the one. He's the one that's to blame for jailing my friend. Keep still. I won't keep still. That's the Lone Ranger. You don't know me, do you? Well, I'm called Butch. My pal Jurgen is in jail right now. That's where he should be. And if it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be there. You caught him. He's going to hang. Yes, for murder. It's too bad he can hang but once. Well, he's going, but you're going first. Butch, stop it. You crazy fool. I'll show you. Oh, my hand. My hand's hurt. Anyone else ready to draw and shoot? Do something. My hand. Your hand's all right. My bullet hit your gun. No more shooting. Every one of you keep your hands on the table like that man said. What do you want here? Toss that envelope to me. Throw it at my feet. Here. You got what you came after. Now, if you want us to take these covers off our heads, you come take them off. No, I won't do that right now. It would be very handy for several of you to jump me. Remember this. Otto is outside. If anyone tries to follow me out the door, you'll wish he hadn't. He's done it. Let me go after him, will you? Let me go after him. Now I got another score to settle with him. Look at my shooting iron, that handle with all the Quiet. notches. Well, Butch... You very nearly spoiled everything with that gunplay of yours. I've got to get that masked man. I've got to do it. We'll get him, but not that way. No man alive can expect to draw and shoot fast in the Lone Ranger. Anyhow, that wouldn't help as much as my plan. He got the envelope and got away, boss, just like you figured. Sure he did. And what he sees in that envelope won't do any harm to us. Now, where is he likely to go with it? Where? Curly, I don't know. To his camp, isn't he? Reckon so. Wherever it is... That's where he'll go. And we'll follow him. We'll get him there and find everything he's got together about us. Then when he's shot down, there won't be a lot of evidence for someone else to use against us. Yeah, I still say we should have drilled him when he was here. How can you follow him to his camp? Because I planned on it. I had stuff spread all over the ground on the approach to this place. I don't care how far the Lone Ranger rides. His horse will leave a trail that a good hound won't have any trouble following. That's why I didn't want you boys to bring your horses here. Why, Juniper, the boss is sure smart. Eh? Yeah, but where will the hound you was talking about well, come from? I've got one all lined up. We'll have it here inside of an hour. And by daybreak, we'll have the Lone Ranger surrounded. to our cave, Tato. We can get some light and see what this envelope holds. Not good. Are you all right, Jack? I'm all right, but but the trap the girl told about might still be set. I think I know what the trap was. Some of those men had bags over their heads. They knew I wouldn't shoot them if they refused to take them off. They knew the only way I could see who they were was to remove them myself. Well, if I'd tried that, they could have jumped me. Well, look, I got one more question. You know the message I brought you? Yes. The one a woman gave me? Why, didn't a girl give it to you? No, it was an old woman. Do you know who she is? The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. The wind had died down by the time the outlaws left their hideout in the woods. They rode across the open plain following a dog. Look here, truck. Why didn't the boss ride with us? He never does. He makes the plans. We carry him out. Never once showed us his face. 
Let's do it. Well, I'd like to know who he is. You know, it's good sense not to be curious about some things, Butch. Yeah. Oh, only wondered, that's all. Uh -huh. Wonder how far this trail goes. I don't know. <laughs> Slick idea to have that strong smell of powder spread on the ground so that the Lone Ranger's horse can walk in it. The boss is full of slick schemes. Remember, I'm the one that's had the first chance to shoot the Lone Ranger. My hand still hurts from the way he shot away my gun. You'll get your chance. You'll get it before daybreak. You're a big cave. He brought the horses right in with you. High and wide, Jack, but not very deep. Uh, he takes flight. <clears throat> All right, Tonto. I'll take the rope off Jack's hands. I don't think you'll try to escape, Jack. Well, I should say not. I don't want to escape from you. I want to help you. I wouldn't have tied you in the first place, but well, we can't take chances. There you are. Uh, thanks. Your wrist hurt? No. Nah. That rope wasn't tight. Bring the candle to the rear, Tonto. We've got to see what's in the envelope. Mm, maybe ask question, too. Yes. Jack, what did you mean when you said the message was from an old woman? Well, she was an old woman. Her hair snow white and her face was all sort of wrinkled. What I could see of it under the bonnet she wore. Her voice. What was her voice like? Well, that was like an old woman's. All sort of cackling and crack. And that reminds me. What? She told me that you'd probably ask some questions about her, and she said that I should hand you this note if you doubted that I'd talk to her. Why didn't you tell me you had a note from her? Well, she said to wait till you ask questions. Oh, here's the note. Hello. You getting out the information we have on the Black Arrow? Ah, uh, me have it ready plenty quick. What does she say? Great pains to disguise myself. Boy thinks I'm an old lady. I see. So she knew I'd try to learn about her from you. Huh? Jack, the woman you saw was a girl, all right. She was disguised, so I couldn't learn anything about her from you. Oh, gee. I'm sorry. It's funny. What's the matter? This envelope didn't come from the east. At least it didn't come by mail. Hmm. What in time? We'll know in a minute. I sure hope so. Hello. What matter? Blank paper. Look at this. No word on paper. Not a thing, unless... What you think? Here, take this sheet. I'll take another. Hold it in the heat of that candle. See if there's any secret writing on it. Well, what's that for? Now, sometimes notes are written with a chemical that won't show until it becomes warm, Jack. The system has been used to send messages through armies or to men in prison. Mm, no word showed yet? There's no question about it. The paper has no writing. Oh, but what does that mean? That's what I'd like to know. That sounds like a hound. Ah, uh, that bloodhound. Got that kennel. Well, it sounds like Bill Tatum's dog. Who's Bill Tatum? Oh, he's the lawyer. Horse come this way with the dog. Jack, keep well back in the cave. Dog's not, not come near now. Him stop. Looks as if we've been trailed here. I'll get the papers hidden. We may have a fight on our hands. Hey there! You in that cave! Mm, call us. I'll answer them. What do you want? We've got that cave surrounded. You can't get out of there. What about it? You can take your choice. Come out one at a time with your hands up, or come out fast and get shot. What if we don't come out? Then you can stay there till you starve. We know there's only one way out of that cave, and we've got a dozen guns pointed at the opening. If you want us, come and get us. You must have him right. There's no other way out of cave. Yes, I know it. Maybe time to make break. Try to run through. No, you wouldn't have a chance, Tonto. They made their plans well. well. Let me try and get out. They won't shoot me. Those men? They'll shoot anyone who stands in the way of their plans. But what are they after? And they want Tonto and me and the evidence we have here, Jack. If we surrender as they ask, they'll shoot us just as quickly as they would if we went out fighting. Oh, the dirty crooks. He must have it. Look over there. They're starting a fire. Planning to smoke us out. Tonto, pour what water we have in the canteens over our bandanas. Protect Jack when the smoke starts rolling in here. Oh, never mind me. Keep face close to ground. We'll stay here as long as we can. Truck and the other outlaws built a huge smudge fire where the wind would carry the smoke into the cave. In spite of all the Lone Ranger could do, the smoke tortured everyone in the cave. From time to time in the next half hour, Truck called out, You can still surrender! Walk out one at a time with your hands high! The reply was always the same. If you want us... Just keep piling stuff in the fire, Butch. He can't stand the smoke much longer. Even if he does come out with his hands up, I'm going to shoot. You do what you're told. I'm in charge now. Hey, someone's coming. Now where? Hey, keep that dog quiet. Yonder, you can just make out the rider. He looks like a wagon. Yeah, it is. The team and a buckboard. I'll shoot. No, no, wait. Let's see what it is. A woman's handling the reins. Yeah, sure enough. Oh, 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 oh. Stop. 
up right there. That's what I'm doing. Huh. You're in charge here, right? What do you want? Where are you from? From town. I got orders from the boss. Yeah? You want that masked man out in the cave, don't you? Well? Well, all right. I'll get him out. He won't draw a gun on an old woman. We're smoking him out. Uh, he'd suffocate before he'd surrender. Now, stand aside. You say that you got orders from the boss? How else would I know what to do? Hey, who is that old woman? I don't know. You heard what she said. But how'd she know where to come? Well, I suppose the boss told her. Yeah. Well, answer me this one, then. How could the boss tell her where to come if he didn't know himself? Huh? He had to have the bloodhound so he'd know where to come, wouldn't he? And he went to all the trouble of playing in tonight's business. Just so as a lone ranger would lead us to where he hides the evidence he's collected. And if the boss knew where this place was, we could have just come here. Why, Thunder, that's right. Well, it don't matter. The woman is trapped now. She can't get away. We'll capture her as well as the lone ranger and Tonto. <laughs> There was ample room in the cave for the newly arrived horses and wagon. Toto, you and Jack tie wet claws over the nostrils and eyes of those horses the same as you did with Scout and Silver. Uh-huh. Me pick them. <coughs> Protect yourselves the same way. Here, get close to the floor. The air is better. Why did you come here? I had to warn you. How did you know where I was? Isn't it obvious that I keep informed about you? Yes, it is. But you sent Jack to warn me. I learned more of the scheme. There was an envelope supposed to be the plans. The plans are fakes. Part of a scheme to trap you. <laughs> Envelope held blank paper. <coughs> the gang probably thought I already had some evidence against the Black Arrow, and they wanted to know where it was hidden. <coughs> they let me take the envelope so they could follow me here. <coughs> now, you've come right into the trap. Oh, I don't count. By the time I realized the cave was guarded by those crooks, it was too late to turn back. Yeah, but those clothes. Oh, for the time being, I, I can't let you know who I am. The white hair. A wig. <coughs> Smoke's getting worse all the time. We're going to get out of here. Tonto, unhitch those grays. Put Scout and Silver in the traces. Uh, Tonto, do it. I'll help. What's your plan? How can you escape? I don't think the outlaws will notice the switch of horses in the darkness. At least not until we're close to them. <coughs> You're going to take their reins and leave this cave slowly. Yes. If we can just catch those men off guard for a split second, we might get through. Stay down now. We're ready. <coughs> I'll help with those horses, Tonto. <laughs> cave now. Now my head real slow. We want to question you. What you keep a gun on her. Rest you keep watching that cave. Right. All right. Rain up right here. The wagon halted. Truck and Butch advanced, their guns leveled. But suddenly a voice rang out from the rear of the wagon. We're the ones you want. What the... Oh, oh. Get down, I'll take the rain. Stop him. Get him, boys. I shot a gun. Come on, scout. Come on, Silver. You made it. Keep your head down. They're still firing. They're getting the horses now. Scout and Silver can pull the wagon and still outrun their fastest horses. Come on, boys. Faster. Faster. The light wagon bounced crazily behind the racing horses with a familiar voice of the Lone Ranger shouting, Master Scout, come on, Silver! Then, when the outlaws had been outdistanced, the pace slowed to a steady loop. We're nearly to town. If you'll stop, I'll go the rest of the way on foot. We're going right into town. But you needn't. You can unhitch and take your horses. Leave the wagon. We have work to do. I want the leader of that outlaw band. But he's not known. Jack said it was Bill Tatum's hound that led the outlaws. Well, I know, but, but well, that wouldn't... I have other me. evidence. I want to see the sheriff. Sheriff, I want to speak to you. Bill Tatum. What the Sam Hill do you want at this time of night? Come on, get your boots on and get to your office. I've been robbed. I want a posse sworn in at once. Now, who I know my rights. Don't forget, I'm a lawyer. What have you lost? What's been stolen from you? My team of greys, my light wagon, gone right from my barn. You don't see. You got any ideas who took them? Sure. What the... Never mind your gun. Mask, who are you? I'm glad you're here, Tatum. Saved going after you. What are you doing here, anyhow? Sheriff, this man is the one who's been directing the work of a gang of thieves and murderers. He keeps his head covered when he meets them. Well, that's not true. This paper and envelope came from your office, didn't it? Uh, yes, but you I... You supplied it to set a trap for me. You didn't think I'd live to use it against you. The hound your men used belongs to you. Uh, the paper was likely stolen from me. So was the hound. 
I meant to tell you, Sheriff. My hound was stolen, too. My team, my wagon, and my hound. You'll find your team where you sent your men. Your wagon is outside. I came here in it. What? Sheriff, I've accused this man. Search his home and office. If you don't find the sack with holes cut out for the eyes, the sack he used to hide his face when he met his men, he can bring charges against me. You're a lawyer, Tatum. You know I've got to make my charges stand. Will you let the sheriff search your house? No. Well, I... Uh, What's the matter I, with I, you, Tatum? I... You look downright flabbergasted. Some man, speak up. Is there any reason why you won't permit a search? Sheriff, I'll admit it. This man is right. I'll plead guilty to his charges. Well, I'll be doggone, Tatum. You a lawyer, not even arguing. I'll tell you why. You will not. He doesn't want his place searched. He'd sooner plead guilty to one charge than have a search made. He's afraid of what else might be found. Sheriff, I'll plead guilty. That ends it. Not by a jugful of don't end it. I'll put the handcuffs on you, Tatum. And then when you're in jail, we'll see what else can be turned up. No, no, don't, please, Sheriff. I beg you. Don't do any more. Please don't, please. please Stop Sheriff, your please. sniveling, Tatum. It looks to me like the law will have a plenty to do with you before we're through. Now, where'd that mask man go? Oh, oh, oh. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 